It's War Dragon time. Hey everybody, RPW here to celebrate three years with War Dragons. And I'm doing this as a special Talk Dragon Tuesday, which I have not done in nearly seven months. Can you believe it's been that long? And it just seems like it's been forever since the husband's been gone. No wonder why, although he is soon to come home. Now, before we get this video started, I must point out, yes, it's RPW from RPW Gaming, but you're seeing this on my new channel, which is under my name, Christy Payne, um, and that I wanna kinda go over the things from last season while I'm playing my, with my dragon here, the new Lockjaw, and some other things as well with you guys to update you on all that's going on with myself. Now, first of all, you must know that I'm no longer in the creator's faction. So being that I'm not in the creator's faction anymore, which means I'm not gonna have anything to give away to you guys prize-wise for um, your, your gaming. So you're just gonna be coming to visit and check me out and hang out with me basically. Now, as for War Dragons videos, they will still come, but they'll come with the wind here and there occasionally. Not anything crazy. Now, the last three seasons, I have not really been making videos. Um, the first two seasons out of the three, I didn't really get very far. Last season, I started playing a little bit more and more, and they made it really easy in order to get a mythic. I was going to go for the other one, but I felt the Lockjaw was the better choice for me, not because of the type of dragon, but because of the um, available rider I had. I had a nice rider that was sitting on Jorm that I would have loved to have put on a mythic, and I already had a fire rider on a mythic dragon and a fire rider on my base protecting it. So I've just felt that Lockjaw was the better choice for me in order to not waste my rider. So that's why I went with that. And so far I've not at all regretted my decision. I think that this dragon puts me in the mind of Shimmerick and I don't mean in its spell set, but just the fact that it is a dependable dragon. It may not be something above and beyond, but back when I was in my level 60s and 70s, that Shimmerick would get me wherever I needed to go. <laughs> it would just mow down those bases for me and I could always depend on that happening. So to me, Lockjaw was a great decision. Let me know in the comment section what dragon you may have went for if you got a mythic, because it was a lot easier, I felt, in the last season. And then let me know what you got and what you think of each of the dragons or whatever. I'd love to hear from you all, of course. Now, outside of that, um, I've not been really, really all that into gameplay. I play on average maybe an hour a day, but this has given me the ability to kind of keep up with the property where I'm at, to bring back some of my hobbies, and to be able to be free to talk on the phone with the husband, although he still plays War Dragons. I'm gonna send him some food real quick here. He does still play War Dragons, which has been great because since we're so far apart and in different time zones, it allows us to kind of bring in a little extra aspect of our daily life in together. So that's pretty, pretty awesome. But anyways, I'm so excited he's gonna be returning in the next, I can't say how long, but we'll say, He'll be home before winter gets here. So I'm going to start getting prepared so that I can be ready for him when he finally does return. Now, this season, I'm actually going to just go as far as I can on something. And if I make it further than what I expect, maybe I'll go for a uh, mythic. But right now, I'm just working on the boost base branch. Don't even know what I'm going to go for next. I'm really not concerned with anything this season. I'm kind of taking a backseat on it as I prepare for the husband to come back and to get this channel Regoing now, when I say regoing, I don't mean we're going back to the regular constant videos about war dragons, it is going to be a little bit different. But, anyways, let me know which of the um mythics I should go for that you guys think I should go for. Um, I know myself personally, I would probably go for the sorcerer, the earth one, just because of the writer. But let me know what you think. I have not had time to check out anything, so tell me which one you guys think is more up my aisle. I'll tell you what though. These new redemption branches makes it to where it's like, eh, even if I don't get a mythic, not a big deal. I'll just redempt them, redempt them next season. I think that is a fantastic addition by War Dragons. Great job, PG. I love the new redemption branch. That is fantastic. It's really great on your alts too. I'm just pointing that out. But that's enough about War Dragons. Let me give you guys an update on what I've been up to over the last year. As you'll see on these pictures as they slide through, I'll, I'll just kind of talk to you guys a little bit. We have had a lot of cleanup to do around this property. The people before us really weren't taking care of the property and the landlord was put in a weird situation and we stepped up and we're trying to take care and getting it cleaned up. It is a lot of acreage and a lot to take care of, which the kids and I have truly enjoyed, but it does take a lot of our time which means War Dragons has definitely taken 
one heck of a back seat. But we've settled in pretty nicely and I'm hoping to get everything perfect and in place and exactly how I want it. So when the husband returns home, we um, can just sit back, make memories and enjoy things. So it's been, it's definitely been a fun, fun thing getting settled in. And then of course, back when the COVID began, I seen the reason to make a bunch of masks because again, I do lots of things. I, I sew, I crochet, I craft, I cook, I do it all. So we thought, well, let's make some of these masks. I mean, after all, you guys know that my dad was very sick. And then of course, my husband being mobilized with a lot of different people, I felt those masks could be very useful to those I love. So we, I think we made hundreds of masks, They're like oh, maybe nearly 200 and just sent those out to a high risk local ones. So it was pretty awesome. And then of course I got to go to some events here in this area here. I got dolled up for an event and meet some friends, uh, make some friends, I should say. And then we have a pool here that has kept me so busy, not only cleaning it up, but even having up, you know, down with some family members to have a good time and make some memories within the pool as well. So it's pretty cool. It's been definitely a different change. And I don't know why in the world I mix up these pictures, but here's just more pictures of us working on some masks. I'm telling you guys, these were pretty popular. I was pretty excited about doing these and they were so cute. But on top of all these little tools and, and, and tasks that I had to do, I've had mishaps too. Like my mower had messed up, so I learned how to replace some things on a mower. I've had to keep up with the grass, which has been whoo, a big chore. My oldest daughter um, turned 18 and had to go back to where, you know, we were just at so that she could further her career. And unfortunately, with that move came some serious headaches. I don't know how, but they either broke and lost 80% of her stuff. So as you can tell, it has been hectic, seriously hectic for us, seriously hectic. But anyways, I decided to return back to this channel, not just as RPW, but as myself. That's the reason why now the name is Christy Payne on there. Um, I want to be doing different videos. We'll, you'll see as it comes open because here's the thing is you'll notice even on my birth chart here as something I've been into is astrology for years but you'll notice even on my birth chart I tend to like to explore new things and learn new things and navigate <clears throat> different things of life and just like the sails on a ship I'm going to go whatever direction the wind takes me so with that being said my channel is going to be changing there will be some war dragon videos but there'll be other things as well that, you know, correspond with the interest I might be dealing with at the time. So right now I'm really looking into astrology and getting the house caught up together and so forth. And I'm going to be sharing with you guys the things that I'm learning in astrology. I've been studying astrology for many, many years. I think probably 16 years now. And I got this idea of where I'd like to take and connect the scientific facts behind each and every single planet into the suicide computer sciences of astrology. So I'm excited about putting this together for you. We're going to be working on that series over the next couple days and getting that out by the end of this week. So I'm excited about that. Anyways, that is it for today's video and I hopefully will see you guys again soon. Until then, happy hunting.